Now Celine has joined us and Celine uses a Nikon D90. Celine does a lot of travel photography, has recently come back from Afghanistan and lots of exciting places. And Celine would like to know how to use her Nikon flash to get better photographs while she's traveling. Hello Celine. Hi. So first of all, before we look at the uh, Nikon SB900, we'll have a look at the built-in flash and what we can do with it on your D90. So first of all, I'm sure you know that to turn the built-in flash on, we simply press this button on the left-hand side of the camera and the flash pops up and then using the what's known as the TTL technology in the camera, the, the flash simply knows how much power to use based on the lens that you've got on the camera. Okay. If you find that the picture is too bright or too dark due to the flash, then you can press this button on the left hand side and you can change the flash compensation, that's the brightness of the flash, by using the style on the front. So that simply allows the flash to be brighter or darker, um, depending on the situation that you're in. The only thing to remember there is that if the flash wasn't powerful enough, then going positive on the flash compensation won't increase the overall power. You've got kind of a, a limit. So if you find that when you're traveling, you're in a dark environment and the flash isn't going far enough, uh, one thing I can recommend is to make sure you've got the widest aperture possible set on the camera because the reflected light from the flash has to penetrate the aperture of the lens and if the aperture is quite small then you need a significant amount of light coming back so getting extra distance from the flash can be done simply by choosing a wider aperture so the first thing that we'll do Celine, we'll take a photograph of Rachel and we'll use the built-in flash on your D90 and then we'll see what kind of results we get the problem though that we'll see is that the built-in flash is going to fire directly at our subject and the light is not very flattering. We've seen the results of using the built-in flash and it's lit Rachel up but it's not very a flattering light. So we can now change that by introducing a dedicated Nikon flash. Do you have to buy a Nikon flash? No, you don't have to buy a Nikon dedicated flash. There are other companies that make flash units similar to this um, other than Nikon and they will work with the Nikon SLRs. The, um, the Nikon flash units have lots of features such as you can use them remotely and actually fire it from the built-in flash on your camera. So there are advantages of buying the Nikon dedicated unit. However, they are uh, pretty expensive and there are other generic flash units such as this Sunpack one which are cheaper but they don't have lots of the uh, extra features of the Nikon units. Now when you use the dedicated flash then when you put it on the camera I would advise that you turn both the camera off and the flash unit off. And we'll take this protective cover off which just keeps the contacts clean. We just slide it on and then there's a lock here on the back. And simply just turn the flash unit to the on setting, turn the camera on, and it's all ready to go. Now the mode that you want the flash unit to be in is called TTL. And that uses both the um, lens information, the camera settings that you've got selected, and the flash unit itself will do a pre-firing. So it looks like you're taking a picture, but it actually flashes before the exposure measures the light and gives you a really accurate flash exposure. So that's how we're going to use this. Okay, Celine, I'll give you the SB900 and we'll take a picture of Rachel bouncing the flash off the ceiling and get a more flattering look. There you go. Okay, to bounce it, we need to press the button on the side here and you just choose an angle that's halfway between you and Rachel and then pull the um, white card out and that will give us a nice catch light in Rachel's eyes. Perfect. Great, let's go. Oh, well, Richard, now there is a shadow. Um, the shadow we talked about earlier uh, just below Rachel's uh, chin. 
So can you show me how to fix that? Yeah, okay, so now I'll bring the reflector in. And we want Rachel to hold the reflector so that it's pointing to where the light's going to be coming off the ceiling. And then when we take a picture again, you'll notice that there's going to be a lot of light being bounced up and that will actually fill in the shadow on Rachel's chin and give us a much more flattering look. Perfect. Okay, okay one more time. One, two, three, ready. Thank you. Is it better? Yep. Uh, Richard, what is this on top of the flash? Like there's a little white card and this plastic lid. Okay, that's a good question. The, uh, there's actually two things hidden in the top. Um, first of all, we have a diffuser. Um, what these flash units do is if you've got a zoom lens and you zoom the lens, you'll hear a motor in the flash unit. And what it does is it zooms the, the flash so that it gives you the same coverage as the lens. If you've got a long lens, you don't want a wide coverage because it won't go as far as the lens can see. If you've got a wide angled lens, if you have a tight beam of light, you're going to get like a spotlight on the person. But sometimes some people use very wide angle lenses and the flash cannot zoom that wide. So this plastic piece is a diffuser and that gives you an even wider beam of light from the flash unit. So that's the diffuser. On top of that is a white card. And this white card is used when you're using the bounce flash. And the white card will create a catch light in the eye of your subject. So when you are using the bounce, then I recommend that you have the white card out and you get that nice catch light in, the, in your model's eye. Okay? Okay. Um, okay, now I have another question. Uh, at time when I travel, I would like to get a nice light coming on my subject from the side. Okay. So how can I achieve that? Okay, with the uh, Nikon D90 and some of the other Nikons, it, this is actually relatively easy to achieve. If you've got the Nikon dedicated flash, you can take it off the camera and it becomes what's known as a slave or remote flash. And then we can use the built-in flash on the camera to, to trigger the flash that and we can put it to one side. So that way you get the light from the side and not coming from the camera. So it's an easy but very flexible way of moving the light around. So we've taken the SP900 off your Nikon D90. The, um, the 900 comes with a little footrest, so we're going to slide this on and we can put the flash onto um, a chair or whatever. You'll also notice that there's a little thread at the bottom, so you can actually attach it, the base and the flash to a tripod if you haven't got anything furniture to put it on. Now the SP900 has four modes on the rear switch, off, on, remote and master. So as this is going to be our remote or slave flash we need to set this to the remote setting. You'll notice that the switch actually stops at on so you have to press the button in the middle and then turn it a bit further to get to remote. On the back here, we've got um, a group, which is A, B, or C, and a channel, which is one to four. We need to make sure that both the camera and the flash are on the same channel. The idea of the group is that you can have different groups of flash on the same channel, giving out different amounts of power. So you could have a flash to Rachel's left side that is brighter than a flash to Rachel's right side, and then get different kind of effects. On your camera now, because we're going to use the built-in flash, turn the camera on and we'll go to the menu setting. And we have to go to the custom menu setting, which is the pencil. And you'll notice that down at E is bracketing and flash. So we're going to go down to E, press OK. And then it says flash control for built-in flash. We need to change that so it now becomes a master or commander mode. In the commander mode, the built-in flash will control the remote flash. So we'll just scroll down and press the OK button. Now the first option here is built-in flash and that one we can change that. At the moment it's set to TTL. 
that means that we're going to get light from this built-in flash and we don't want that we only want it to tell the remote flash what to do because we want all the light to come from the side so what you have to do now then is with the yellow TTL box marked just scroll down until you get the two dashes that means that the built-in flash will be off for the actual exposure okay. it will still flash to tell the other flash what to do but it won't actually take part in the exposure now we move the right arrow and we get down to group A and that's TTL which is fine and if it's too bright we can actually put some exposure compensation in so we get quite a lot of control at the bottom the most important thing is the channel and it's at channel 1 which is the same as our master flash so when you finish we just press OK and we'll see now that this flash control is now set to commander and just by popping this flash up it's going to tell that flash what to do so Celine, I'm going to put the flash to one side now um, we have to keep this little window pointing towards the built-in flash on the camera and so I have to turn the head around like this in order to do that and I'm also going to bounce it so that we have some nice flattering light coming from the side. If we point the flash directly at Rachel then we'll have some harsh shadows on one side of her face which we want to avoid. So we have the light from the side and we'll bounce the flash. We'll just put it down there. Okay, okay. let's try that. Okay, ready Rachel? Give me a big smile. Okay, thank you. Okay, Richard, um, I noticed in the picture that there is a shadow just above the sofa. How can we avoid that? Okay, that's probably because the flash is quite low. So the light from the flash is coming across and hitting the sofa here. So a way to prevent that will be to lift the flash up. So for the next shot, I'll just stand where the seat is and I'll just hold the flash a bit higher and we'll see what, how that looks. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Nice. How does it look? No more shadow. Mm -hmm.